Hello, welcome to the information session about the Structural Engineering Program's Aerospace Structures Focus Sequence. I am Hyoni Kim, a professor of structural engineering in the department. Uh, and uh, what I want to point out to you is that this is extremely, uh, an extremely unique program. You literally cannot find anything like this in the country. And I'll get into that in a bit soon. Uh, and when companies, uh, aerospace companies, learn about what we're doing, they're, they're highly impressed, again, because of this uniqueness of what we do. What makes any program excellent are the people, and the faculty uh, are listed here uh, who are involved in the aerospace structures focus. Uh, we uh, are specialized in various areas and we're world known for these uh, special our research in these specialties as well as very active in the professional community professional societies and we're interested in aspects from aircraft design uh, to impact and dynamic response as well as materials of uh, special uh, focus on material level behavior uh, and then optimization A very unique aspect of our program are the courses. In addition to the core courses that all structural engineering undergraduate students take, uh, students within the aerospace structures focus sequence would take this set of courses starting in their junior year or the third year, the year before you graduate, uh, aerospace structures and design. This is a two quarter sequence. Uh, and then typically in your senior year, you take these courses and this would be uh, what's very special that most programs in the country do not do, uh, or I would say almost none of them do this class, but um, uh, we do, uh, all students take uh, composite structures, learn about composite materials. Uh, all students will take aerospace structures repair, which is really a course related to how do you join different portions of the structure together using adhesive bonding or, or bolted assembly. How do you predict failure and, and design those efficiently? Uh, and then a very special course uh, sequence we've created uh, is the capstone design. And that's the set of uh, two courses that you take in your final year. Uh, and this is uh, involving a design build testing of composite structures. So all students uh, who are gonna specialize in the aerospace focus sequence would take these courses. Uh, additionally, I've listed graduate courses here, and um, these courses are, are available to be taken uh, by undergraduates um, by petition if you're performing well and you get permission from the instructor. I'll talk a bit more about the capstone design course, and that's something that, uh, for, that uh, we've put together that focuses on uh, applying everything you've learned from the previous coursework, as well as not just in the uh, aerospace focus, but also including the core courses, uh, and, and applying it into hands-on design, build, and test. And we're transitioning this even into FLY. Uh, what we've been doing recently, and you know this could evolve in different timing, but what we've been having students do is design, build, test these uh, unmanned aircraft wings. Uh, here's a photo of this and this is a this is a two two sequence two quarter sequence course right so basically 20 weeks uh, of activity uh, involved. Right so what makes this course very unique is the not only the, the rigorous uh, analysis and engineering aspects but also the hands-on nature of it and uh, we spend a lot of time in the first first uh, part of the course just making things designing making testing and you know this set of photos actually shows failed parts or parts that have a lot of problems and uh, one of the important things that we uh, always benefit from are making mistakes and learning from you know how things don't fit up uh, getting uh, uh, flaws and wrinkles in the structure or using too much bonding uh, learning from these things, right? This is extremely important uh, aspects of engineering. Uh, that's an important part of this class. These are all, uh, um, let's say, small section uh, practice structures that students have made to learn 
how to better make a larger size structure. A major portion of this class is really on the design and analysis, and that's what makes us a, a Bachelor's of Science in Engineering, um, as opposed to something related to just putting something, designing something, you know, and, and building it without really understanding how it's going to behave. And we spell, spend a lot of time uh, focused on predicting the behavior using computer analysis as well as uh, classical hand calculation analysis to predict things like buckling of the skin and how much deflection or how much vibration, what vibration frequencies uh, this structure would uh, oscillate at, uh, or uh, when the composite laminates would fail. Another major portion of the class is this um, actual fabrication and assembly and, and learning how to uh, create tooling to make these structures, learning how to put the structures together uh, and achieve uh, good quality, achieve good fit up. Uh, some of the soft skills that are very important is teamwork and how do you work with other people, how do you be, be um, productive as a team and make sure that things are getting done uh, as a team. That's how uh, real world engineering is going to be. Uh, and then the uh, important part of the class as well is getting into the testing phase, right? So students have designed and analyzed and predicted the behavior. Uh, we, we set this up in the lab. We test it uh, in, at various le levels of load and uh, including up to failure. And um, finally, the very key part of the class is comparing our analysis to the failure. Um, or to the behavior that was experimentally measured. And so, you know, this was, you know, failure, it, a lot of the joints are where a lot of failure occurs. Uh, can we predict that? And the, the modeling um, can match um, to these uh, predictions pretty well if done right. Uh, so that just gives an idea about the um, uh, overview of what the aerospace structures focus sequence looks like and what you would uh, see as an aerospace structures focus sequence student.